You know, not too bad for an eight o'clock start. I was wondering, I heard you guys had a big event last night. Eight o'clock starts usually aren't so good the next morning, right? So, but uh, good crowd, and uh, I'm sure you have another very, very good day today. And uh, we'd like to thank uh, Adrian and, uh, for kicking off this meeting and for giving us a chance to, to have an opportunity. I did get a chance to, uh, to see that uh, Emmett Smith and Chris Carter are supposed to be here later today. So that ought to be a really good experience for everybody uh, in this room. I've just always been so impressed with Emmett Smith. Before I get started, though, let's give another round of applause to the Millennial Group. Didn't they do a good job this morning? I got to meet them backstage, and, uh, and of course, one of the challenges they're dealing with, they talked about, is the age of people that, uh, that they're trying to get interested in their proposals. What I didn't tell them is that I used to have that problem too, right? Being the youngest in the room, couldn't understand why I couldn't get the older generation to see it my way. Before you know it, you become part of that next generation. So as hard as it is for millennials to think it could happen to them too, the Generation Zs are already thinking that way, you know? But uh, when I saw your theme, The Future Is Now, I knew I'd be speaking with a group who knows what time it is. And trust me, there are plenty of organizations that don't. In fact, one of my primary responsibilities as the CEO of UPS in leading this transformation that we and all companies are in is making sure that our people know what time it is, but also how fast time flies. Because thanks to technology, the world is moving not just fast, but exponentially so, faster than the world has ever seen before. <clears throat> In fact, futurist Ray Kurzweil wrote that the pace of progress was accelerating so fast that we will not experience a hundred years of progress in the 21st century, that it will be more like 20,000 years of progress. Think about that for a minute, 20,000 years in a hundred years. Let's say he's only 25% right. That's a lot of progress. Change is happening faster than ever before. And to thrive, businesses must flex, they must adjust, and they must transform. UPS has become an industry leader because we've been willing to adapt. Jim Casey started our company in 1907 as a bicycle uh, messenger company. We then migrated due to telephones to a delivery company and, uh, and due to automobiles to a common carrier company. Today, UPS is a global such up, a supply chain company with a high emphasis on technology, 481,000 employees, 220 countries, and on any given day, we deliver 6% of the U.S. GDP and 3% of the world's GDP. So on average day, we deliver over 20 million packages a day. And we are guided by our strategic vision of customer first, people led, innovation driven. At the same time, we've all heard this truism to whom much is given, much is required. It holds true for corporations as well as people. Corporations, or at least most of them, have always had a responsibility to take care of their shareholders. But more and more, corporations and CEOs 
are hearing more and more from all of their stakeholders. And it's important to remember that it's an and and not an or. So if all these stakeholders, we have responsibilities. Our stakeholders are asking for more from us. They're asking us to step up. They're changing the definition of what it means to be a corporation. But for UPS, that definition is not new. From the day in 1907 when he launched the Bicycle Messenger Service, Jim Casey didn't just want to make a buck, he also wanted to make a difference. And he ingrained one core belief deep into our company culture, that the fortunes of UPS, our customers, and the communities we serve are inseparable. Jim practiced an enlightened form of capitalism. It was built on an important belief that a company can do well by doing good. That belief is why I recently joined 180 other CEOs in signing the Business Roundtable's new statement on the purpose of a corporation. Like my peers, thank you. Like my peers, I have committed to lead my company, or in our case, our company, for the benefit of all stakeholders, for our customers, our employees, our communities, and our shareholders. And that also includes you, our suppliers. Our commitment to suppliers is that we will deal fairly and ethically with you that we are dedicated to serving as good partners to you, the companies that help us meet our mission. And for UPS, a key part of that, of our mission is diversity and inclusion. UPS holds diversity and inclusion as a core value, both inside and outside of our walls. At UPS, we have a unique opportunity and genuine commitment to inspire, motivate, and elevate people's lives. We do that by embracing the diversity we represent. Hundreds of thousands of employees, customers, and suppliers that all touch, that touch all parts of the world. And more importantly, by cultivating the inclusion necessary for those voices to be heard and listened to. UPS is a global corporation with one of the largest workforces in the world and a footprint that spans 220 countries and territories. When we focus on something such as increasing supplier diversity, we create a ripple effect that extends beyond our walls. We know a diverse supplier base that reflects the diversity of our customers around the world is critical to our success. Small and diverse suppliers like you bring new ideas that add values to our business and help us provide more innovative solutions. You help drive new insights for our marketing, research, and development efforts. That's why UPS spent over $1.2 billion with diverse businesses, including minority, women, veterans, disabled, etc. Last year, that was up 250% from 2017. Thank you. We had planned for many years to increase that, to increase it significantly, and we kept running into what we thought were obstacles. We brought in Jose, who is uh, part of the board here, and I think you will hear more from him later. 
and he really has made a difference and his team has made a difference. It is possible to do what we did. It does take work, it takes efforts. With minority-owned businesses in particular, UPS spent over $372 million in 2018. That again was up 27% from 2017. <clears throat> I believe it's important for all corporations to embrace MBEs, to find you, to help you develop it, and to ensure there are opportunities for you to grow. Not just over the next few days at this conference, and not just as a way to check off the boxes, but because they understand and appreciate that the value M MBEs bring is invaluable. So I'd just like to close by uh, quoting Jim Fetterling, who's the president and chief operating officer of the Dow Chemical Corp Company. He said, inclusion transcends quiet tolerance. It must be intentional. It must be standard operating procedure. It must be led by example with unwavering conviction from the C-suite to the shop room that it is simply the right thing to do for business and for society. And it must extend beyond the company walls to the communities we call home, leading through ad advocacy, through partnerships, and at times leading alone. I'm really glad to say that when it comes to supplier diversity, UPS is not leading alone. The companies you'll meet here over the next few days believe, like we do, that diversity and inclusion are, just not the, are not just the right thing to do, but also the smart thing to do. We're here because we believe in the importance of diverse perspectives, diverse voices, and diverse ideas and solutions. We're here because we understand that inclusion is how we tap into these diverse perspectives, voices, ideas, and solutions. And we're here because we're ready to connect with you to build the relationships that will unlock the power of diversity. We believe embracing diversity and cultivating inclusion allows all of us, it allows all of us to go further, reach higher, and together forge trails to places we cannot reach alone. So thank you very much. Appreciate it.